Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1062. Now, if you want to download this workbook, 1061 and 1062, click on the link below the video. Hey, we want to talk about year over year calculations. We want to be able to add for 2011, 2012, 2013. Ah, but look at this. Our dates over here are serial numbers, and we're given years. We cannot directly match a year to a serial number. No problem. Now, actually, I've done a bunch of videos on year-over-year -year calculations. And in these videos, there's some unusual circumstances. But in the one where we look at transactional data like this and the criteria mismatch with serial number dates, I used the sum product and year function. Now, in my latest book, Control-Shift-Enter, I have the sum if formula in here. But I don't have a video at YouTube that shows this great, very common year-over-year -year calculation using sum ifs. All right, here's how it's going to work, sum ifs. Hey, we need a sum range, so we're going to add all the sales. That's our goal. Control Shift down arrow to send the cursor all the way down, and F4 to lock it, because we're copying it to the side. Comma. Now, criteria range. Well, we have two conditions or two criteria. We want to say greater than or equal to the first of the year and less than or equal to the end of the year, 2011. So we're going to have to enter the date range in twice. Control Shift down arrow, F4. Now that's criteria range one. Now let's do criteria one. Now it's the first of the year, so watch this. In double quotes, we say greater than or equal to one slash one slash. Well, we can't type the date in, so we end, whoops, I. We can't type the date in, so I end double quote. And now I'm going to join using the ampersand and click on 2011. So the lower limit, and in fact, we can click on this argument, criteria 1, and hit the F9 key. And see, sure enough, it creates, even though that's text, some ifs functions and D functions understand this as a proper date, even though it's text. Control Z. All right, so that's the lower limit. Comma, criteria range 2, we have to repeat the date. Control Shift down arrow, F4, comma, and now we do the upper range. Hey, in double quotes, less than or equal to 12 slash 31 slash in double quote and join it to that same year. Now, what's happening here, if I click here and hit the F9 key, that's working fine, is the reason that we can do it this way is because there's no problem with dates. 1 slash 1 is always the first of the year for this company here. And 12 slash 31, it's always the end of the year. If we had other dates, like February something, where the end of the year uh, has a variable day, then we couldn't use this. But for a straight full year from January 1st to December 31st, that formula is awesome. Control Enter. Now, why you could use some product in years, but on a big data set, that would take a lot longer. Actually, in the Control Shift Enter book, I time these on huge data sets. So this is the formula to use if you're ever worried about a large data set and calculation time. All right, let's see, did that work? We got our cell references right. Boom. Now, percentage change, we can do our, a few different formulas, but let's do the shortest and easiest one. End divided by begin, and we subtract 1. Control Enter. Wow, so that went up a bunch. I copied this over. Click in the last cell, F2. So we've calculated the percentage change. 11, down 11, down, and then up 16. Now, if we wanted the rate instead, that's simply without the minus 1. And divided by begin. Control Enter. That's just 1 plus the percentage change. But certainly, that is a, a quick and easy way to do it. Notice 88 is the rate. Now. That's it for this uh, video with year over year calculations. Now, I've grouped some uh, different calculations over here. Let's just go crazy, have a little fun with all sorts of different calculations. The amount of the change, well, that one's easy enough. We simply take the end minus the beginning, right? That gives us the amount of change up or down, positive or negative. If we wanted begin, actually, I'm just going to come up here, the begin. If we want to do this next formula to calculate n, we simply copy this over. So now, if we have the amount of the change and the begin, then we can.
I'm going to do Alt equals to Adam. Now, that went so quickly, the keyboard was the sum function, Alt equals. All right, so that is how we can get in. What about if you had the begin and the rate? And in fact, this is great. This shows you what the rate actually means. If you have the begin amount, we started there. What do you need to multiply to get the end amount? Well, of course, 1 plus the percentage change up or down. So we can copy that formula over. And so for anyone, you can see that's the beginning amount. We multiplied it by the rate, which is 1 plus the percentage change here. Because the number is less than 1, of course, we're going down. We started at 3974, and we were down to 3922. If you wanted the amount of change and you had the beginning, the percentage change, similar to the rate right here. But instead, we take, hey, whatever the big end was, and multiply it by the percentage change. That's the definition of it, right? What amount of the original amount we started with, the begin amount, did we go up or down? So boom, that will give us the amount of the change. A couple other useful formulas, and this is always the associate, I think of this as the associated part divided by the associated percentage. So if you're trying to get back to the beginning and you have the amount of the change and the percentage change, you just do division to get back to the beginning. If you have the end amount and the rate, which is 1 plus percentage change, you can do that division to get back to begin. So here I'm simply going to say the amount of the change and divide by the percentage change. So if you have the actual percentage and the associated part, we just do division. And it gets us right back to the beginning amount. Now, this jumps back to the year before, right? Similarly, if we had the end amount, which is just the 2012, and we knew what the rate was, divided by the rate, that'll get us back to the prior year's start amount or begin amount or whatever we want to do. So that's a bunch of extra stuff. The main point of that was that. But sometimes you get going, and it's fun just doing a bunch of percentage formulas. All right, we'll see you next video.